Hey, Dr. Sampson Davis, emergency medicine physician. Um, just giving you an update where we are uh, with things. Uh, actually, our volume, I thought was, was going down, but realized we were on divert, which means that uh, we, we were filled to capacity in the hospital and not accepting uh, any patients at this time. But uh, we went off a of divert today and the volume spiked again. We had about 20 patients today, all very, 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 very sick. Uh, multiple cold blues uh, called. Uh, lost one patient here in the emergency department today that passed away. Um, and most of the people I'm seeing now, again, uh, we're seeing an older population of people, uh, some nursing home patients now as well. So if you have family members or friends in the nursing home, you wanna check on them as well to make sure that they're okay. Uh, and young people uh, I'm seeing, but they're more stable. Uh, the message to the young people is to make sure that you keep the physical uh, social distancing going. It's very important because you can be carriers of this virus, so you do not want to spread it. As you can tell, it's very hard to breathe in this mask, um, have all the protective gear on. Uh, the numbers are starting to flatten, but that should not be a signal to re-engage into uh, parties or groups of, uh, of gatherings. It's just so imperative at this time right now that we stay the course uh, and do not gather uh, in order to prevent, um, prevent re-expansion of this virus. Uh, again, you know, people are dying. This is real, this is happening, and uh, we will get there, we will get past this moment. We just have to stay the course.